Good morning, Team Avo Peeps. Marianne here. I just wanted to talk to you about something that I do every single morning, and it is the daily methods of operation checklist. And if you haven't seen this, don't panic. We'll upload it here to our file section. But this is fantastic. I think this is something that I have been starting now this past two weeks to give this to my new distributors. But it is a checklist, and it takes mm, maybe two minutes to go through and check it off. I check it in the morning as a way to check in to be sure that I know what goals I need to achieve for the day. And I check it at nighttime before I go to bed. So it's pretty simple here. And the first thing is, have I done my one-on-ones? Uh, any two one-on-ones and or three-way calls. And this morning I had already done two. So I went ahead and I marked in two and I love to be able to fill this in at the end of the day and see how many I have actually gone through and filled in. Um, have I sold $100 or more products? As of this morning, I had not, but by this afternoon, I promise you, this will be checked off. Um, have I sponsored a new distributor? Now, I haven't added anybody to my front line, but I have helped somebody else in my downline add a distributor, so I'm gonna count that. And so I gave myself a one for that. Um, have I put somebody on a recruiting call or a webinar? That's gonna happen tonight, and I have. I have promoted our um, webinar for tonight, and I have promoted the, um, transformational, the, the call that we have going, Tuesday transformation call that we have going tomorrow night. So I have done that. Have I got someone to an impending event? Well, the spring breakthrough I did, although I wasn't able to be there sadly, but I did, but I'm also promoting the, the next BMO that's happening, I think it's next week. I need to go bump that post and get that up there. So I gave myself half a point for that. Um, next up, have I used Impact Magazine or our website or Solutions for Success DVD? I have already sent three people to our fabulous team website. Thank you so much, Jenny. I love it. Um, have I sampled product? And do you see this? The star here? Have I ever sampled product? I'll tell you what. Because product talks. What you put into your body will talk without you having to say a word. So this is something that I do daily. Um, have I followed up? And by the time I did this this morning, I'd already followed up on three people. So, yes. Um, next, have I talked to new people about AdvoCare? So I gave myself a half a point there because I started a conversation with somebody brand new last night and they followed up this morning and we've been talking now throughout the day. So, half a point. But I'll, but I'll get somebody else new though too because I gotta get that filled in. And then last, have I communicated with my leadership and or my team? So, Tiffany and I, we talk every morning because she's my heart. And have I talked to my team? I have. That's imperative. I think it's important to touch base with your team, check in with your team. So it's not only follow up with your challengers or your prospects, but it's follow up with your team. So if you would notice, I put, have you completed your I-D-M-O? Just think inspiration. So that is my internal daily methods of operation. And I think that that for me, I have to do that before I do this, my internal daily methods of operation, because if I don't have what's right going on inside me internally, these are just basically check marks that mean nothing. So we're gonna keep it simple. We've checked this list off and small things turn into big things. So start this, it will become habit and watch your business grow. So, when I think of my internal daily methods of operation, I think of inspiration. There you go. So, the I in internal daily methods of operation, the first I, and I'll make this look really pretty, I promise, I'll post it. The first one is integrity. Integrity in each interaction. Is what I'm doing, has what I've done, line up with my vision and what's important to me and my values? Next, the in in inspiration is never give up. And I think that that can be used in all aspects. Never give up on yourself. Never give up on your challenger. Never give up on your front line. Never give up on your business because you never know when it can change. Don't ever give up. Don't give up on your dreams. Next up is the S in inspiration and that is servanthood. Please know that serving others, pouring yourself into others is an honor. And it's something that we should do daily and that we should not take lightly. 
So lead and serve others with pride. Uh, the P in inspiration is for passion. And I think that passion makes the impossible possible. Passion in what you do, in how you do it, in everything that you do in life is imperative. And this is so true. If we can ignite someone else, if we can set them on fire, then all the impossibles vanish. Think about that, how powerful that is with your passion, with setting someone else on fire, you can make their impossibilities vanish. So next, uh, the next I in inspiration is the initiative. Are you taking the initiative to connect with others? Are you taking the initiative to make things happen on a daily basis and not waiting for others to motivate you? You take the initiative. You take that step forward. It's up to you to do that. Next up is relationships, the R in inspiration relationships. And this is big for me. This is the foundation of everything we do in life, but especially in AdvoCare, because relationships are the foundation of what we do. Have you connected first? Have you gotten to know what's inside someone else's heart? Have you listened with your two ears? Have you listened and connected and found out what the needs are? Have you made a relationship and captured the heart of that, that person that you're working with? Next up is A in inspiration. And this is a question. Are you a generous leader? Are you looking for ways to add value to someone else? Are you pouring yourself into someone daily? Because if not, start doing it. Start doing it today because today we can be better. Um, next up is the T in inspiration, teachability. And I think this is huge. Be willing to learn from every single lesson that each person you interact with has to teach you because there's a lesson in everything. And if we close off and think that we know everything, then we stop growing and we stop challenging and our business will fall flat. Next up, the next I is, and this is simply a statement, I do the things I believe need to be done. And when I make up my mind to do it, I act to do it. So simply put, if it needs to be done, if I believe it, I do it, I don't wait. The next one is O in inspiration, it's opportunities. They don't come a knocking at our door as much as we'd like for a band of 10 brand new people to show up at our door and we can spark them right there in our comfort zone. It's not gonna happen. You see this little box, this little teeny tiny comfort zone where we're hanging out in? Way up there. That's where the magic happens and that's where things happen. That's where the opportunities exist. You put yourself in those opportunities because it's not gonna come knocking. Anticipate and be proactive in what you do. Uh, the next up is in, in inspiration. And this is simply a statement. Again, no leader is ever so advanced that they could not use the support and the help from their mentors. And we talk a lot about utilizing your leaders because you might know a lot, or I might know a lot, or Tiffany might know a lot, but there's other people out there that know more than us. And when we involve our leaders and what we do, we bring third party credibility to our work. So again, remaining teachability and not everyone knows everything. So that's inspiration. And one last thing I wanna lead you with, cause this is long, is I challenge you today to lead with valor. And that's my new favorite word I've decided because valor is an unstoppable spirit. And when you lead with valor, with an unstoppable spirit, there's no limits to what you can accomplish and there's no limits to your dream. So live and lead with valor. Every interaction you make, do it with an unstoppable spirit of love and connection and valor. And you're gonna be popping pins everywhere. So have a great day. Thank you for listening to my rambles on the daily methods of operation and my internal daily methods of operation through inspiration.